So we've all hit bad shots, haven't we, and thought that was too fast. What if I told you that it's not too fast, it's actually too slow club head speed that's causing the bad shots, or certainly contributing to the shots. So I'm gonna show you how swinging slower is gonna make you faster and hit the ball further than ever. So we've all been there, haven't we, where we step up with driver, we take dead aim. Ah, oh, way offline, decent speed, but dead. And just everything felt too quick. So I need to slow down. But what we're talking about is we know that more club head speed with a good strike is going to give us longer drives. But if I were to just slow down, we could see it's nicely in control. It's straight, club head speed's 20 mile an hour back, but it's 211 yards in the middle of the fairway. Now, what if I told you though, that you could be slower to build club head speed and hit the ball further than ever? I know what you're thinking, that's not possible. Let me demonstrate. So we're gonna set up, take dead aim and make a swing more like this. So we can see nearly 105 mile an hour club head speed. We can see carry at 260 and total at 280. Now I know what you're thinking, that one looked loads slower. Trackman must be broken. There is no way that club head speed was longer. But what if I told you the key there, the first bad one was fast in time that the speed took to make the swing, but slow in club speed. Whereas that one was slow in time, but faster in speed. Now let me show you the two swings and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And then I'm gonna talk you through how we're gonna be slow to be faster and hit longer drives. Okay, so on the right hand side, we've got the first swing of the day. On the left hand side, we've got that final swing. So we can see the total time that the swings took was 985 milliseconds for the second swing, 876, so it took less time. But if we look at it, as we move back, we can see on the right hand side, I've been shorter on the back swing, so I'm rushing down to the ball. The one on the left hand side is a bigger turn, club, head speed, club head's now got further to travel on the way down. And we can see by the time I'm back to impact, on the right hand side, I'm only halfway down, the club head's accelerating, and we saw nearly four mile an hour more club head speed. So I think when most golfers make their practice swing, even with driver, it's kind of a big swing, and it's very free flowing, free wheeling, and that club head speed's moving nice and quickly. But when we get to the ball, the ball becomes the emphasis and we're trying to hit it hard, we're worried about where it's gonna go, we're steering it. And that's when we get that one that kind of feels very quick. And it's not that the club head speed's quick. Like I said, it's the time it's taken for the golf swing is too short for you to sync everything up and time everything correctly. So what we want you to feel is that you're gonna make that nice big shoulder turn. So you're gonna feel that, that lead shoulder gets underneath that chin or as close as you can for you and feel that you get as far back as you can. Then you can feel that you swing down. And even if I try to swing slowly with this big swing, still tons of control and still at 101 mile an hour. The club's traveled up, so it's nice and efficient, but that honestly feels like I'm putting nothing into the swing. It's almost like I'm just making that nice big turn and then almost letting the weight of the club and gravity do the work for me. Now, don't get me wrong, that tee shot at 274, dead in play, don't do that every time, so maybe I need to do a little bit of that. But again, give yourself the time to make the swing, and then you can swing through. 
So we're going to set up there, give yourself lots and lots of time and try and generate some speed. Okay, so a little bit of a push, but we can see no effort. 106 mile an hour club speed, 270 carry and 286 total. And it's probably the biggest misconception I see with most golfers that when they hit bad shots, their first bit of feedback is, I was too quick. And I know they mean they think they're too fast with the club and what they're trying to hit the ball too hard, but it's not. There's not enough time that the club's traveling around the body to get the body in the right place, get the hands back, square that club face up, get a good strike, and actually have the club moving at any kind of speed. So like I said, even if for now you have to feel your backswing is a little slower than normal, because there is lots of scientific evidence that if the backswing is a bit faster, but full, turn, that we're gonna generate even more speed. But if I had to start with just go slow on the way back, but a nice big turn and give myself lots of time, even the one that's a little bit out the toe, 105 mile an hour club head speed, club traveling up 3.4 degrees, and I would absolutely take a miss hit being 264 carry and 287 total. Now, I'm sure you're like me. If you stand up there and you do a few of those, you kind of look at nice and accurate, some nice speed, but because my time is slow to help me to build speed, I'm then thinking, what can I generate speed wise? So this is where I'm still gonna give myself more time than before, but I'm actually gonna try and be just a little faster on the way back, but still make that full turn if I need to. Let that lead heel come off the floor to let the hips turn even more, and then see what I can generate. And it just feels like I've got all day long to get everything back. Clubs traveled up four degrees, 107.5 club head speed, carry at 273, and total at 294. Now, comment below. I've got one last drive in me. Have I got 300 yards total? I'm gonna need just a smidge more club head speed and to get that out of the middle of the club face, but we're gonna make that big turn. So I've got as much time as possible. I'm gonna be a little quicker on the backswing, which I have done a video on this in the past. I'll put that up in the corner for you. But we're gonna make a big turn, lots of time, and let's see if we can get 300 yards. Not with that strike, very, very toey. So speed was down, strike was poor, but it's still not end of the world. Right, you know what it's like, can't finish on a bad one. Let's go one more, get set, take aim, big turn. That's a much better strike. Club head speed's not quite there, but it's fast. It's nice and accurate. It's 286. So I've failed in trying to get it 300 yards, but hopefully what I've shown you there is that when you hit that bad one and you feel you're too fast, it's not that the club head speed's too fast. If anything, your club head speed is slower. It's that the time it's taken to make the swing has been too fast. So give yourself more time, get the club accelerating for longer and start hitting the ball longer by giving yourself more time to swing faster.